lovely humans and welcome back to my channel. If you are watching this on Wedding Chicks or on Facebook, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're in a little bit of a different filming location. We actually have a guest staying with us and the room that I typically film in is our guest bedroom. So we are here in my room and you can't see any of the mess because I threw it all behind the camera. So it looks like I lead a beautiful clean life. I don't. I have three children. Today we are going to do something that is total classic YouTube, unashamedly, and we are going to do a what's in my bag video, wedding planner edition. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. I have this beauty that I take with me to every single event that I work, and I am so, so grateful that I have it. It's actually a travel scrapbooking bag, which I didn't realize was a thing. Um, until I watched the video and details details a company in Orange County was talking about how they use a similar bit bag to this And so I thought oh my gosh, I need it. It's held up pretty well right now is extremely full because I wanted to make sure I had everything in it Oh look look at that. It's almost closed so if you are a planner looking for an emergency kit bag to have with you I do highly recommend getting this bag only one of the zippers is broken Which after two years I would say is a pretty stinking good deal I will link it down below to where I got it off Amazon now as I'm going through this bag, there are a lot of items that I turn to when I need something. As a bride, you do not need all of these items. You should hire a planner, you should hire a coordinator, and they should have this stuff for you. But as I'm going, I'll do my best to say, oh wait, if you're putting together your own emergency kit, have this on hand. And, uh, this is something I keep, but you don't necessarily need to have. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. Let's go for the main pocket, shall we? Ah, uh, first and foremost, uh, first aid kit. If you're putting together your own emergency kit, you absolutely need a first aid kit. Some of the items that I do recommend that you include would be band-aids, Tylenol, a cold pack just in case. I also have some hand sanitizer, ooh, whoa, some hand sanitizer in here. And one of the most used items in my wedding kit is this pair of tweezers. I actually had a guest walk into a cactus before. So having tweezers on hand to pick out each and every one of those little spines in her poor leg was super, super handy. Let's see, what else do we have in here? I have spray deodorant because no one wants to use roll-on deodorant. No one wants to use someone else's deodorant. So I have this on hand just in case somebody gets stinky. Sunscreen, obviously, so you don't fry in the sun. If you're putting together one of your own, I do recommend that you have sunscreen on because that is the last thing that you want to have happen on your wedding day is get an awful sunburn. I also have some lotion on hand. Dry feet are never fun. Dry arms show up in photos, so having some lotion to make sure you get that last minute soft moisturized touch can be really helpful. Up at the very top, I have this cool little mesh compartment which is helpful so I can see what is in there. I have Q-tips. Baby powder, which can act either as a dry shampoo or help get sand off your feet if you're doing a photo shoot down by the water. Clear nail polish for runs and pantyhose or to add a little extra shine to your manicure. Makeup remover wipes and just general cleansing facial wipes. When you're putting together your own emergency kit, you can have clear nail polish in there. I don't think you'll necessarily need any of these other items, but, but I like to have them on hand because we are prepared for everything. Now diving back into this main pocket. Um, Let's start with items that you're gonna need for your clothes. I have two little spray bottles. We have Folex, which is a stain remover, and white vinegar. If you're putting together your own emergency kit, I do highly recommend that you have some sort of stain remover, whether it's Tide to Go pen or an actual spray bottle with some item in there. Folex, we use this for makeup stains, dirt stains, blah, 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 blah. And I also have white vinegar on hand. We use this a lot because red wine stains can ruin someone's clothing. Um, in fact, we used this at the last wedding that we worked because someone accidentally had red wine spilled down the front of her outfit. So I was really grateful that we had this to get that out. Also for clothing. <laughs> it's like a Mary Poppins bag. I have a steamer, which helps to get out wrinkles or last minute creases that may happen to your dress where your bridesmaid dress is or someone's suit shirt, those sorts of things. Lint roller. This is obviously a very well used item in our bag. Mostly because of me, because I wear all black at the wedding and I have pets and I'm blonde and all of my children are blonde and my husband is blonde. So I tend to have a lot of hair and lint show up on my outfits, but we do use these for guests and bridal party and the couple if we need to as well. If you're putting together your own emergency kit, having a lint roller on hand for the guys is probably more important than you in your white dress because not a lot of things will show up. A sewing kit. Absolutely put together a little sewing kit for your wedding day. In here, in mine, I have multiple colors of thread. I have one of those chalk pencils. Um, it works really, really well for tiny stains on your dress to just kind of color them in uh, if you don't want to get it all wet by spraying something on it. 
I also have Gorilla Glue. This thing comes in handy so many times. We've had centerpiece vases break and had to glue it together really fast. We've had a shoe come apart, so Gorilla Glue is really important. I also have safety pins. This is the most used item in my wedding kit is safety pins. So when you're putting together your wedding kit, one thing that I do recommend is buy nice safety pins, not the cheap ones, because cheap ones don't do anything. They bend, they fall out of place, they're really, really ineffective, so make sure when you're putting yours together that you actually have some decent safety pins on hand. Additionally, I have this hem tape. We haven't used it yet, but I'm sure there will come a time when we do need it. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Lighters! We are the people that light the votives for you um, at your reception tables. You don't need them for your emergency kit, but a planner definitely does. And now we have ways to attach things. I like to have a myriad of options when it comes to attaching signs or hanging something from a tree or those sorts of things. So I have fishing line, a bit of twine, and zip ties. Again, this is one of the most popular items in my bag. We zip tie stuff all the time. It's just a really quick and easy way to make sure that something stays hanging if you want it hanging. I also have double-sided tape. Usually I have like masking tape, blue painters tape, duct tape, clear shipping tape, regular scotch tape, and this tape, the double-sided tape, but all of those seem to be missing at the moment, so it looks like I need to replenish that. You don't necessarily need tape for your bag, but as a planner, it is instrumental, obviously, because I just listed off 17 different kinds of tape and I only have one left in my bag. Ah, almost forgot, bug spray, super important. Don't wanna be eaten alive on your wedding day. Cough drops, again, one of the more popular items in our bag. I like to keep this on hand because you never know when that irritating cough tickle is gonna attack. It's like being in the middle of a test in high school and your throat starts tickling and you know a huge coughing fit is about to attack your face and you can't help it and you just kind of slowly start barking and distracting everybody in the room. That happens at weddings too. So we keep some cough drops on hand to make sure there's no barking. One of the more random items in our kit is this pie server. Technically it's pie server, but we use it as a cake knife and server just in case a couple forgets to bring one for their wedding day. I forgot one on my wedding day and we had to use a plastic butter knife to cut our cake and it was really hard and that scarred me. So I make sure to have one of these always on hand just in case. Batteries in a Halloween themed bag. Not quite sure why, pretty sure this is left over from one of my couples. AA batteries if you were having copper string lights or some sort of battery operated candle at your event. Make sure you have extra batteries on hand because if you want that ambient glow, you need to make sure that everything's well powered. Scissors are pretty self-explanatory, they're for cutting things. Uh, we use these a lot. I do recommend having some scissors in your emergency kit because you never know when you need to cut a little extra thread or trim off a tag that's irritating you, those sorts of things. Next we have the technology portion of my bag. Starting out, I have this amazing piece of machinery. It is a solar powered external battery. We have used this on so many occasions to charge a guest phone, to charge a groom's phone. We've had multiple maid of honors use this to charge their phone so they had their toast ready to go. So that way they didn't have to worry about it being plugged into a wall or anything like that. As a bride, you don't necessarily need something like this, but if you're a planner, I recommend looking into getting some sort of solar powered external battery because I use this at every single event. Going along with that theme, I have an iPhone charger and a wall charger. This can be plugged into the solar battery or it can be plugged directly into the wall. Ooh, next. <laughs> I love these things. They are walkie talkies and I always use this for myself and my assistants. I make sure to have quite a few of these on hand just in case there's someone else we need to be communicating with throughout the event. I have used multiple different brands and I will say I like these the best. These are the Midland GXT something something. It's about 80 bucks for a set of two of them. So they're really, really not inexpensive. They do cost a pretty penny, but they have changed the name of the game for me. And of course, we have the super cool Secret Service style earpieces. Uh, I like them because they're a lot more comfortable and they're not the Britney Spears, uh, hit me baby one more time long ones that come in front of your face, but they're a lot more subtle. All right, next let's move on to one of the sides. This is, uh, this is like the disinfecting pocket. So I love how compartmentalized all these little pockets are. In here we have Clorox wipes, Lysol spray, and um, Febreze in case something's a little stinky and you wanna get that all cleared up. When you're putting together your own emergency kit, while you may not need Clorox wipes, I do recommend having a Tide to Go pen, much like having white vinegar or Folex, just to get out those pesky little stains that may pop up on your dress, on a bridesmaid dress, or on your groom, those kinds of things. Other side. <laughs> Another one of the side compartments, ah. 
Kleenex. I should probably buy stock in Kleenex. We use so many of these travel size tissues. If you're putting together your kit, I do recommend having these on hand. In here, we also have another set of scissors, some cotton rounds that I've never used, but I'm sure will come in handy at some point, and a knife, um, because sometimes there are places that scissors can't quite reach, so I'm really grateful to have this on hand. It's also helpful to cut zip ties and things that are a little bit stronger, so uh, you don't need a knife for your emergency kit as a bride, but as a planner, I'm super glad that I have this on me. All right, moving on to the front. In this front pouch, we have flossers. Oh my gosh, they're flying. Toothpicks, I also have these disposable toothbrushes, which if I'm being honest, I use a lot more than anybody else does. Um, but this is like my third pack, so I will say, when you're putting yours together, have some sort of breath control on hand. We have some mouthwash, some mints, and some gum. Oh, and one of the most used items in my wedding kit is this tea, it's called Throat Coat. It is the grossest tea on the planet. However, it is amazing on sore throats. So if you feel a cold coming on, or a little bit of a tickle, or the maid of honor is having a hard time talking because of her sore throat, I will brew her a cup of this tea because it really, really does help. So while it's disgusting, uh, it gets the job done. Front pouch. This one's um, a little bit more of a mess. It's. <laughs> <laughs> kind of all over the place. In here we have feminine products, little heel pads in case the back of your shoe starts to hurt, hair supplies. In here I have um, hair ties, bobby pins in case your veil starts to fall out, and some combs. Over here I have two different kinds of hairspray because I'm just extra like that, and some dry shampoo. We have some body adhesive tape because the last thing you want is a Janet Jackson moment. Another lint roller that's never been used, so that's helpful. Some more batteries, some more batteries. Pens. You would be surprised by how often a pen gets forgotten for a guest book area. So we have these cheap disposable Bic pens, or we have these fancier, really pretty gold and silver ones in case you have a non-traditional guest book and you want a paint pen instead. And uh, we also have these blotting paper. Now, if you don't have this in your emergency kit, don't worry. Um, a toilet seat cover, unused, actually does the same exact thing, but it's nice to have these on hand in case you start looking a little bit shiny in your photos. So there you have it, folks, my wedding planning emergency kit. That was so much stuff. But honestly, you should be hiring a planner that should have most, or if not all of this stuff on her. So you shouldn't have to worry about any of these items. This is overkill. But if you're a maid of honor, or a bride, or a mother of a bride, or a friend of a bride, or a groom watching this, and you're like, I need to put together an emergency kit, I hope this was helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, a huge as always, a huge shout out to my gal pals over at Wedding Chicks for hosting this video. And until next week, bye guys.